In this video, I will show you how you need to create a nice interactive timeline chart in Microsoft Excel. Along with this, I will show you how you need to use my own template without learning the whole video. For example, if I scroll on the top area, I have the start date of my event and the end date of my events. Next, we have another table where I have the event date status of project and event detail on the status we have a drop down and there we have three options now if you want to update this option you need to watch my full video let's say i'm going to change the status from completed to in progress it will automatically become blue and even if i change this date from 10 february to let's say 20 february hit enter each and everything dynamically update so how we can create this amazing chart in microsoft excel i will show you each and everything in this video consider i have this blank data sheet on which i have start date and end date of my project the first thing i will click on b9 cell and simply define dates hit tape key another column will be let's say view now we need to build a formula I will simply write equal sequence function how many rows you want in this case I will click on end date minus start date plus one and this formula will calculate the total number of days in between these two dates hit comma how many columns in this case I will simply define one hit comma what are the starting value in this case I will click on start date hit comma and for the step size, I will simply define one close parenthesis, hit enter. And this will generate a list of dates starting from 1st January 2025. If I click control down arrow key, my last date is 31st December 2026. Next, we need to create formula for wave column. I have this simple formula in my text file. Simply select all of the formula, hit control C, click on Excel sheet again double click hit ctrl v to paste the formula in this case i will only change the reference a11h2 i will click on b10 and simply write h since my dates are dynamic errors so it will automatically expand as well and simply hit enter for the first cell i will simply update the format click on home and simply define general format now this formula will create a list of positive value as well as negative value and this is how we create our wave in our timeline chart the next thing we need to create two name range i will click on formula click on name manager and now simply click on new our first name range will be let's say dates in a refer to area, I will remove everything and simply click on B10 and type hash hit OK. Now click again on new. Our second name range will be let's say wave. Remove everything in refer to area and simply click on C10 and now simply type hash and hit OK. The next thing I will select few of the rows. Click on insert recommended chart all chart in this case i will click xy scatter chart and i will select the second layout and simply hit ok now i will click on select data again click on edit and here you can see x value y value for now i will remove all of the hard coded reference leaving only working exclamation mark and now simply hit f3 key in this case this is x value so i will simply click on dates and hit ok for the y values i will remove everything only leaving working and exclamation mark hit f3 key and simply click on wave hit ok and simply hit ok now i will hit ok again and this is how we create our wave now we need to do some more formatting the first thing i will click on my chart and simply delete the chart title i will increase the width and height of my chart a little bit more now i will click on my vertical x-axis right click format x-axis instead of minus 0 0.6 i will define minus 10 and for the max value i will define 10 and hit enter next we need to insert actual event series 
So first I need to build those columns. I will move this chart on a right area. On D9, I will write events date. Hit tape key. Next column will be height control. And now I will write few dates here. Now I have insert 15 dates for the height control. We need to write some number. So first I will write 9. We can adjust these number later as well. Next we will write minus 9. Now my two column are ready. What I need to do? I will click on my chart. Click on chart design. Select data. And here we need to add another series. I will click on add button. First we need to define series name. I will click on event state. For the X value, I will click here and simply define all of the event state. And for the series value, I will remove everything and simply select the height control column. Hit OK and now hit OK again. And now we need to do a little bit more formatting. I will click on format and this is the easiest way. On the very left side, you can see a drop down. In this case, I will click on event state series. For the shape outline, I will simply choose no outline. And now I will click on plus button and simply apply error bar. And now I will click on horizontal error bar and simply hit delete key. The next thing we need to specify height for error bar so that it can properly touch our base. So for this, we need to build a few more helper column. Now I will scroll on the left side and I will build few more helper column. Our first column will be error adjustment. And for this, I will build a very easy XLOOKUP function. What are the lookup value? I will define my whole dates. Hit comma. And for the lookup array, I will click on B10 and now simply write hash. Hit comma and for the return array, I will click on C10 and simply write H, close parenthesis, hit enter, and this will extract all of the error adjustment value from column C. Our next column will be error height. And here I will define a very easy formula. Simply write equal actual height minus error adjustment and simply hit enter and now drag this formula till the end of our data sheet. Now everything is ready. I will click on my error bar. On the lower section you can see a custom. Click on this one specify value. For the positive error value I will define zero. Remove everything in negative area and now simply select all of the error height column and simply hit ok. Here you can see cape and no cape. In this case I will select no cape. And now if I close this window, our error bar is touching with our base. Now we need to build few more helper columns for our status. In this case, my status are 3. Our next column will be a drop down. So I will write here status. And now select all of the cell I want to apply drop down. Click on data, data validation. Select list. Click here. In this case, I will define all of my three status. If you have more than three status, follow the same method and simply hit OK. Now I will select few options. Now in this column, I will write a very easy formula. First, I will click on H10 cell and simply write if condition if open parenthesis, if this value. And now I will hit F4 key to lock the column reference equal to I will click on the header hit F4 key to lock the row reference in this case hit comma then I want to return the value from height control hit F4 key to lock the column reference again otherwise I want to get any result open close parenthesis and now simply close parenthesis for if condition hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of my event state and now simply drag on the right side as well. 
Now we need to add these series one by one into chart. I will click on my chart, click on chart design, select data, click add button. What is the name of series? In this case, I will click on track. For the X value, I will define even dates. And for the Y value, I will simply define on track column and simply hit OK. Now add another series. What is the name? Click on at risk. For the X value, simply define even dates. For the Y value, simply define at risk column. Click add button again. What is the name? Click on will not meet. For the X value, define all of the even dates. And for the Y value, simply define will not meet column. And simply hit OK and hit OK. Now we have added our three series. If I click on my chart, click on format. On the very left side, you can see a drop down and we have these three series on track at risk will not meet. First, I will click on track and now right click format data series, click fill and lines. Here you can see marker option, expand the marker option, click on built in, increase the size to let's say 10 point, click on fill color, simply select solid fill. For on track, I will define blue color, scroll a little bit more. For the border, I will simply choose no line. And now again, I will click on my drop down and simply select at risk. Scroll up, click on built in option, increase the size to 10 point, click on solid fill, change the color to light red color. For the border, I will click solid line and for the color, I will choose dark red color. Again, click on drop down, select will not meet series, scroll up. Increase the size a little bit more up to 10 point. Click on solid fill. In this case, I will define red color. And for the border, I will simply choose no line. In the last, I want to off the orange marker. So I will click on this drop down. And here you can see even date series. Scroll up. In this case, I will simply select non option. And now if I click anywhere and simply close this window for now, our chart is almost looking better. I will click on my chart again, click on plus button. In this case, I want to off the X axis. And also I want to off the grid line. The only thing left are applying data label. For this, we need to build few more columns and then I will show you the final formatting. Now we need to build two helper columns. Our first column will be let's say even detail. And next we need to build another column which will combine all of the events along with the date. So I will write combine detail. For now, I will simply copy paste all of the event I have in another file. Just to save the time, hit Ctrl C, go to my actual Excel file, click here, right click, paste as a value. Now in the combined detail column, I will build a very easy text join function. Open parentheses. For the delimiter, I will simply type character 10, which is a line break in actual hit comma. For ignore empty, I will simply type true hit comma. For the text one, I need to define text function open parenthesis. What is the value? I will scroll on the left side and simply select the date column hit comma. And for the format, in this case, I want the format, let's say day day quotation mark close parenthesis hit comma. And for the text two, in this case, I will simply select all of the even detail cell, close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of my data sheet. Now I will scroll on the right side, click on my chart, click on format. In this case, I will select the even date series, click on plus button, data label, more data label option. Uncheck the Y value, click value from cell, scroll on the left side and simply select all of the combined detail column, hit OK. And for the position, I will select right side 
and now if i close this window each and everything is ready in a nicely formatted way of course you can do a little bit more formatting for example if you want to control the height you can do those as well let's say the last one is very high so if we decrease the height this will look much better and we can properly read so now if i scroll on the very left side and the last one instead of nine if i simply change to four and now if i go to my chart i can easily read my data label further if you increase the width of your chart your data label is much better i think if you click on data label and simply select align to left side it will look much better now if i go to my chart and simply update the status for example i want to change the status of second event this is my second event in this case i will click on track and now if i go to my chart it will automatically update the color but we are facing one more issue we can see the line now so for this we need to do final formatting i will click on my chart click on format click on this drop down select on track series here you can see shape outline and simply choose no outline select another series at risk and simply select no outline and also select will not meet and simply select no outline and now if i go to my status column again and simply drag all of these drop down just for understanding purpose each and everything is ready in a nicely formatted way the only thing left we need to format all of this sheet so that we can only lift three column and easily fill those column before hiding the column i will click on my chart click on select data hidden and empty cell and simply check show data in hidden rows and column and simply hit ok and hit ok now i will move on the left side the first thing we need to leave event dates and we also need to leave the status and commits if you want to leave other column just for your easy you can leave those column visible as well the first thing i will select all of these two dates and simply move on even dates column because we need to hide these two columns and now i will simply select the first two column right click and hide this column we also want to hide hide control column error adjustment error height on track at risk will not meet column and also combine detail column right click and simply hide this column now i will increase the width of my event detail column a little bit more so that i can properly type the detail of my event and select all of these three header for the fill color i will choose the black color for the font i will choose the white font color select all of the table click on table line color i will choose the light gray color and simply apply the border and now i will move my chart below my table and for example if i change my event from on track to at risk and simply drag this each and everything dynamically update even if i want to update my label everything is dynamically changing you can do a little bit more formatting but this is how you can develop this dynamic timeline chart in microsoft excel